All right, you see them rocks there? That's probably something. I know there's other rocks in the area. Um, probably used as some sort of foundation. But uh, the one thing I did notice that is very visible is this old well. <laughs> so there you go, old well. That's cool. That is really cool. Um, that's a tidbit tip for anyone hiking in the forest. If you start seeing big trees and old roads, there could be a well close and it's too expensive um, to cover all these because they're all over the forest. They're all over. And uh, the Forest Service just doesn't have the money to film and recover them. Especially when, I mean, so many people are even against them collecting fees. You know, how, how are they going to do this? You know? Uh, their uh, budget keeps getting cut every year. So, and that is your, that's your federal government, not just your local government. So, but Old Well, it's probably pretty deep. It's full of water. I'm not going to put a stick down or nothing. I'm going to mark the location. And that's about it. Um, I could tell people don't come out here much. But I did notice a beer can that I'm going to pick up. So there you go, old settlement, pretty neat. Right by the big tree. Well howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking With Sean on YouTube. And today I'm at Bellsmith Springs here in the Shawnee National Forest in Southern Illinois. And Today I'm the only one here. It is about 40 degrees, it's spitting snow, and no one else is here but me. So we'll see how long that stays that way. I might be the only one visiting this awesome site today, and if so, so be it. Plan on doing the blue trail. We'll go in here, stay on top of the bluffage, and eventually make our way down. It'll intercept into the yellow trail and I'll probably cross the creek at some point and go see the natural bridge and all that good stuff. Hopefully there's a little bit of waterfalls out um, and hopefully I don't slide and get injured because it is kind of slick. <laughs> so I have the camera on a manual gimbal system hoping to help make it a little bit more stable so do let me know if it seems like it's a little better all right folks so if you come down from the parking lot here you make your way down and you get to this point uh, right before you get to the bottom you'll see the blue diamond this is the start of the blue trail so you definitely want to come this way and uh, that starts your blue trail hike. Blue trail and the combination of everything I'm doing is probably a couple miles. Alrighty folks, first little waterfall. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's just flowing down. Try to get down here and show you without slipping. <laughs> there you are. Flowing down in this little pool there and making its way in the little creek. It's pretty cool. Not creek, but you know, I guess there's a, it's probably a creek it runs. That's pretty much a creek, so it's running to the main uh, Bay Creek. All right, here's the creek. And that's the chute gap. So, 
pretty cool. There's my stream crossing, and then I go up that, which is a waterfall right now. Um, might be safer to try to come this way and cross so I can go up the bluff a different route. So I might just kind of edge the trail, the creek here, and, and do that. Alrighty, folks. Really pretty area. Figure I'd show it. Really scenic. I was really thinking about crossing here because it only looks like it's about a little past the ankle deep. And then I could get on that bluff and, and make my way up it to that point. But the further I look down the beautiful creek, um, it kind of looks like it may be easier to cross down there. Look at that. Wow. What a pretty creek. All the bluffage. Ah, oh, man. That's a creek now. That is a creek, folks. So, not really crossable here yet. That's all right, I'm having a good time following the creek. All right, folks. I don't see if, I don't know if you can see it. Bay Creek down there and past the trees, but Bay Creek has become too deep to cross. And all this has become too steep to, to, scale so i'm making my way up to this kind of ridge and now i'm just exploring the forest now i'm in exploration mode so i just heard a noise and looked over it's a big coyote but it heard me <laughs> and took off <laughs> but that's the first time I've seen a coyote that, that close in a while. It's been a while. So this is an old road. I have a little bit of signal. And I can tell that I'm on public land still. That was pretty cool seeing the coyote. The one time when you think it's possible that you may have found a not so much seen or even not even seen beach on Bay Creek. It's just a pretty area. You think, I bet I'm the only human that comes down here. Then you find a beer can. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it washed up here and I'm the only human that comes down here because I don't even see footprints on this little beach. Of course, I'm not the only human that's been down here because the Forest Service has been down here enough to put a natural area sign there and there and one over there. So, <laughs> not the only soul who comes here, but scenic and wild creek candidate, I agree. <laughs> All right, folks, so couldn't cross the creek this time. Boy, that sun's just coming out now. And, uh, there you go, there's ND. ND2. There's the sun coming out. And, uh, there's the creek. Creek is looking good. Creek is looking real good. 
Um, even the beech trees are not really carved. Besides the natural signs. Um, it's pretty much a area I don't think that really sees that much uh, people. Alrighty folks, you want to see something unique? Check this out. See that? See the the hanging the hanging deals. Look at that. It's like a a shelter underneath that's kinda guarded. Isn't that weird? I've never seen anything like that. Let's keep taking pictures trying to get a good shot. <laughs> all right, folks, found one of these cool rocks with all the uh, the banding. Starts with an L. I can never think of the name, but it's like iron, you know. Um, it's a mystery, really, what causes all of it. <laughs> from what I read, but it's just a cool rock. I want to show it also because it kind of, it splits. You'd think it's just one big rock, but I almost thought it was an arch at first. All right, folks. I've made my way back to the blue trail on top. Um, followed, uh, went back to where the well was and uh, followed that old wagon road as far as I could, and it led me to uh, to here. So, there's like a faint trail to the wagon road for anyone who wants to come explore it on their own. And if I could figure out how to get the Gaia GPX file onto the computer, I will provide my track to this area, through this area, in case you want to follow my footsteps. Just felt like this was a good scene to share. I'm on top of the bluffage and kind of looking down and checking out Bay Creek and just enjoying it. Alrighty, folks, almost back to the truck. Went a total of about five miles. Pretty good hike. Didn't make it across Bay Creek this time. But had a good hike. So be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Yeah. So thanks again for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Pretty good.